Tourism Minister Paul Lingdok today inaugurated the Tourism Conclave at the State Convention Center in Shillong, emphasizing the government's commitment to maximizing the potential of the tourism industry by strengthening various sectors involved. The event was attended by tourism stakeholders from across the state. In his address, the tourism minister highlighted the significant role tourism can play in Meghalaya's economy, stating that tourism has the potential to support 85% of the state's population. He also shared his positive experiences from interactions with former miners, who have recognized that tourism offers a more sustainable livelihood compared to mining. Lingdo further suggested the creation of a federation that would unite all tourism stakeholders under one umbrella, aiming to foster collaboration and drive the industry's growth. Let us think in terms of having a federation or an organization that combines all stakeholders under one umbrella. It is difficult for the government to talk to every single organization. Just the transporters themselves have several associations. And I was told that even in spite of that, 60% of the transporters don't belong to any associations. So how do you, how do you understand the grievances and issues? You can't talk to a population of 38 lakhs on a day-to-day -day basis. Somebody has to represent your interest. So I would suggest that all of you, starting from tour operators, to transporters, to hoteliers, to to guides come up under an umbrella organization which will flag your various grievances and concerns and we can interact. I'm ready to interact with you even on a weekly basis. But come forward with constructive ideas and criticism. We cannot crib that others from outside are taking away everything because there is something called home ground advantage. A person from Saura knows more about Saura than even a person from Penrosla. You have that home ground advantage. You can't really say that Biharis are coming and taking everything. When you say that they don't even know where uh, Kandahila is, how is it that they can outsmart you in the business of tourism? To the other point I, I, which I will share with you, which I think is very important, is we are open to the idea of revisiting the water sea. Make update it, make it more inclusive, offer you all the uh, facilities, and also provide you with the SOPs of how you go about conducting your business. But again, it takes two hands to clap and make some noise. We need you as stakeholders and us as the government to work together. We should be on one single page. The interaction that I've had with quite a few of uh, those who were earlier into mining, mostly from Giant Hills, who said that they have realized that tourism is what would finally sustain their lives and their livelihoods. So friends, uh, just to share a few thoughts and to uh, give you an insight into what the government is thinking. First and foremost, the very idea of us meeting today at this conclave means that the government is committed to enhancing the potential of the industry by upscaling the various sectors involved. We would not be holding such a conclave unless we think that it's very important for us to learn from each other, to interact, and to understand the various intricacies especially of the stakeholders who are at the field level. But please understand that the government is here to handhold you. 